Within you, there is a stillness and a sanctuary to which you can retreat at any time and be yourself. What's up my friend, welcome back to Cosmic Consciousness. My name is Jonas and in this video I'm going to be sharing a simple idea that has massive transformational power. It's called inner stillness. And inner stillness is all about finding time to consciously pause all the stuff that we have going on in our lives and returning to what's here. Relaxing into presence. This is all about coming out of the mind, the monkey mind, and going deeper into the heart. Reconnecting with the beingness at the very core of our experience, the pure consciousness, becoming aware of awareness. And I can't emphasize enough how powerful this is. This is how we nourish our being. This is how we find more peace in the midst of a crazy chaotic world. But not only that, this is how we tap into higher states of consciousness. This is how we accelerate our spiritual awakening. And I'll explain what I mean by that. Have you ever noticed that as human beings, we spend so much of our time trying to get somewhere? <laughs> Have you ever noticed that it's like either we're running away from pain and discomfort or we're racing towards some imaginary finish line, some goal or achievement or accomplishment in the future that supposedly will deliver the peace and contentment that we are looking for? But if we look at the wisdom that's been passed down by our ancestors for thousands of years, it's very clear that this deeper sense of contentment cannot be found in the outer world. No matter how many of our goals and dreams we accomplish, it will never be enough if we don't know how to tap into presence, if we don't know how to tap into stillness. It ultimately comes from within, right? We have to have absolute clarity around this. At some point, be it in this lifetime or the next one, we must realize at some point that the true key to what we are searching for comes from within. Every single spiritual teacher and every single spiritual teaching all universally are pointing us back to presence, to the present moment. Have you ever noticed that? And yet even on the spiritual path, we bring in this goal-oriented mindset. We're constantly in pursuit of some more liberated or enlightened or awakened state. But at a certain point, again, we must realize that this search for something else or something more or something greater, at a certain point, that search is the very thing that is preventing us or holding us back from finding what we seek. There is a real irony there if we really grasp that truth. Spiritual awakening, spiritual liberation is not about becoming something that we aren't already. It's about rediscovering what is here already in the core of our being. Buddhism teaches that the Buddha nature is within each one of us already. We already are infinite divine beings. And there's a powerful spiritual teaching that says that which we are looking for on the spiritual path is within the one who is looking. If we can really grasp that, the whole game changes up. The whole game changes up. Because again, we realize at a certain point that this present moment is the doorway to discovering everything that we are ultimately searching for. And here's where inner stillness comes back into play. It's all about letting go and observing the flow. It's a resting. It's a resting as we already are. It's setting aside doing and going deeper into being. The being, going deeper into being, what does that mean? We can bring our attention out of the mind and go more deeply inwards into our center, into our heart. It's all about seeing what remains when there are no thoughts left. 
stillness is a natural consequence of that, of just resting in the heart, in the center. And the more deeply that we just rest here as we are, relaxed, letting go of all tension, resting as awareness, the deeper that we go into that, the deeper that we are going into peace, the more that we are nourishing our being. This is what it's all about. I often compare spiritual awakening to like the blossoming of a flower. There's nothing that anyone could ever do to peel open a seed and pull a flower blossom out of the seed, right? <laughs> Obviously that doesn't work. However, if the right conditions are present, the flower will blossom on its own accord just because life is a divine miracle. And I believe that the same is true for us. There's nothing that we could ever do to force awakening to happen. It's really in coming back to what is already here, tapping into stillness. Those are the right conditions that nurture our being and provide all the nutrients for this blossoming of our consciousness of our being to happen effortlessly. At a certain point, there's nothing else that needs to be added. There's nowhere else that we need to go <laughs> in order to enhance that state of peace and wellness, a natural feeling of wholeness and contentment that's within this stillness. The whole game changes up from that point. I believe that when you and I take time to bring in these higher states of consciousness, peace, presence, awareness, stillness, that has a ripple effect. That is contagious. That is helping, helping the whole human family to also experience these states of peace and awakening, I believe. So thank you so much just for being you. Thank you so much for joining me here in this video. I really do appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you in the next video.